What's up guys? It's your boy Red Stain here, coming at you from my back room. I just got a new camera, as you can tell. Look at the quality. Look at it. You can now see how ugly I am. But, all things considered, not too bad, I don't think. Anyway, we've got the girlfriend's car out in the driveway. It needs an oil change. It's about 12,000 miles overdue, but it's going to get one today. Uh, we've got the Mustang. It is getting its exhaust hanger fixed. Uh, about three weeks ago, um, I went to a bachelor party in Toledo, Ohio. And Toledo, you guys got some shitty ass roads. Uh, ended up breaking an exhaust hanger down there. And it's been just rattling ever since, driving me nuts. And of course, that happens right after I saw my welder. So... We are headed to one of my friends' house to have him weld it for me because he still has a welder. He has a big welder. Um, we also, you guys are in for a treat. You guys get to see the uh, the secret build that I haven't really talked to anybody about, which is my 91 F-150. Uh, we've got it almost all the way put together. We need to get a starter. I have a, uh, a starter uh, waiting for me at the parts store. We're going to go pick that up. Uh, my buddy... He uh, hooked me up with a good deal on it because he works there, so we're going to help him out and we're going to help him with his taillights on his 300. Um, he has a 300 uh, Z, older body style, late 80s I believe. Uh, but uh, anyway, yeah, we are going to get started with that right now. Alright guys, so here's the F-150, we got engine bay all cleaned up and whatnot. Just needs the starter. Uh, it's been a project we've been tinkering with. It's not, it's not too bad. Uh, <clears throat> not too bad. It's got a little bit of rust like down here. But not too bad. All things considering it's a 91. It's older than I am. Uh, two wheel drive. Long bed. Here's the inside. It's very old school bench seat. I like the bench seat. It's actually got the old school high beam, if it'll focus. Uh, it won't. It's got the old school high beams down the floor. 5.8, uh, 351. All around, all around, not a bad truck. But yeah, that's what we will be rocking in some future vids. Uh, we're probably going to do some headers and maybe a cam on it. But, yeah. There's so much slag, oh my gosh. How do you tell them what you're doing? I'm grinding slag off of this piece of shit piece of metal. <laughs> I don't have enough subscribers to be monetized. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
The shit we do in the rain. Is that where it needs to be? Um. Up a little more. Okay, a little bit towards the driver or the passenger side. Needs to be like right there. Under so much tension to hold it in the spot. <laughs> Alright. Yep, we're good. Did you miss? <laughs> usually how people do it. This would be an easy job. <laughs> Look at all that wasted wire. Stand back, what do you think? It's higher than the other one, but it's almost like it should, probably should be there rather than where the other one is. You know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, look at that one. That one's centered in the opening. That one's not. That one's off to this side and down. Yeah. That, yeah, that's what I'm it should say, be. That's what it should look like. That one's just fucked up. Want to try to center that one? Not in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, what I'm thinking is maybe... I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's not raining next weekend and we're not working? Yeah, there we go. That'll work. All, the, all we that have to do... Is, actually, all we have to do is cut this right here. But they made this one fucking long as shit for some reason. Cut this. And then... Pull it. You know what I mean? <laughs> this one is so fucked up one anyway because it's crooked. Because the drain hole is here. Like on the side. So yeah, it's fine. I just want to stop fucking around because that pisses me off. better than their bullshit. Right? Bridge the hell of a gap. Hey guys, that's the end of the video. So you might be thinking to yourself, what the hell? Why is that all in just the Mustang? That is because your boy Red Stain here forgot to videotape everything else because he is a fucking idiot. Uh, no. Uh, we did the oil. Um, wasn't really that uh, special, you know, it was an oil change on a Grand Prix. Big whoop. But uh, we went to the parts store as well, picked up the starter. Or, well, actually, let me go back. I took off the old starter. Um, then went to the parts store, got the new starter, um, brought it home. Uh, never ended up working out of my, uh, my buddy's 300. He, uh, he didn't bring it to work that day. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background or not. But uh, it's been raining all day long, and he was afraid to drive the 300 because uh, apparently it gets a little tail happy in the, uh, the rain, which I can relate. The Mustang is the same way. Uh, and Mustang has a lot more computers, so I can only imagine. But, um, no, we ended up working on the Z. We brought the starter home, got it uh, all put on, working good. Um, what else? Uh, oh, the exhaust. Uh, another, another thing. Um, the exhaust on the uh, Mustang, you might be asking yourself, um, boy, those wells on that exhaust look like crap. Uh, yeah, there's going to be a part two to the exhaust in that. Uh, there's, I'll give you guys a little bit of a backstory. Uh, a long time ago, I uh, went to an exhaust shop to get um, the resonators and then straight back to four, uh, four inch, my 4-inch magnet flow tips. I wanted a 3-inch exhaust. Uh, from the resonators back, uh, and, or actually, no, not the next resonators back, or yes, yes, excuse me, from the, uh, I wanted it from the h bike back, so basically the resonators back, um, yeah, and they were like, oh yeah, yeah, we can do it, well, I don't know if they just misunderstood what I said, or what, but they... They, it took two day it took two days for them to do it two trips over there to do it and each time I was over there it took them uh, the first day it took them about four hours to do it and then the second day that they they did it I had to go back a different day like two weeks later um, it took them about eight hours to do it which I don't I don't really do a lot of exhaust work but I can tell you it does not take. 13 fucking hours to do a straight pipe job. So, I don't know. Plus, with the craftsmanship that they have on that car, or on that exhaust work, it should be a lot better. 
for that amount of time. But um, no, they uh, they took the resonator and they just cut the resonator out and then welded in a three inch piece of pipe. Well, the problem is they didn't. Not that's not what I wanted for number one and number two. Um, it's my pipe is slightly smaller than three inch. Uh, I believe it's two and three quarter or two and seven eight something like that. But um, instead of making some uh, adapters for their uh, the pipe to go in, they just put it in place and welded the crap out of it and uh, to fill in all the gaps with slag. And then again, the exhaust runs from there, comes down, it goes over the axles, and then instead of welding or uh, bending the metal that they needed and doing it properly, they kind of just jointed it so there was a gap. So, say my hands are the pipe, they jointed it and got the curb they needed. And then where this hole is in my hands, there's like a gap, like what they would have on there. And uh, they just filled that in with slag. So, there are quite a f And then uh, where the tips are and a bunch of other spots, they just did kind of a crap all around. Um, yeah, I don't know how they're staying in business. Uh, I'm not going to put them on blast because I'm not about that, but um, it was definitely uh, an eventful trip doing that, and I, I will not be going back there. Um, Dylan, uh, my friend that was in the video, he's going to uh, help me out with that. We are going to go around and find all the spots that uh, it's leaking and just tap well or well beads whatever and uh at least get it um so it's not leaking uh but the game plan is after everything's said and done we are gonna get long tubes and off-road x anyway so I'm, once i get those installed i'm just gonna gut that whole exhaust system uh i'll keep the tips but i'm gonna gut the whole exhaust system and we are gonna have three inch uh, exhaust from the off-road X back so it's not a big deal right now but at the same rate you know I wish it wasn't oh, in the condition it is considering it's a pretty expensive car at least for me most expensive thing I've ever had but yeah figured I'd give you guys a little bit of an explanation uh, on what was going on there will be uh, another video probably um, here in a few more days. Uh, this Saturday, this weekend is actually going to be very eventful. Um, Saturday, uh, which would be October 6th, there is a Cars and Coffee that everybody is planning on going to, weather permitting. Uh, that's where we're supposed to check out the Z. Um, that, uh, that'll have, you know, high-end cars and whatnot. I went to the same Cars and Coffee last month and there was a Dodge Demon and a McLaren and a bunch of Porsches. It's usually a pretty good turnout. But anyway, before I start rambling, uh, we're going to go to that. And then right after that, uh, I'm taking my girlfriend uh, on vacation uh, for the rest of Saturday and Sunday. So there will be a little bit of a recording of that. It won't be either, it will not be very car related. The end, the beginning is going to be super car related, and then the ending is just going to be kind of vlog style. Um, I know my niche is cars, but I want to play around with the channel a little bit and just kind of have fun right now. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys probably in a week or so. Peace. Oh, I almost forgot. The F-150, uh, I want to start a little uh, poll in the comments section. The F-150 is bone stock right now. Um, the motor has a lot of um, stuff done to it, like as far as being rebuilt, like new timing chain, it's got new uh, lifters, all of, there's a lot of new things that are in it because it's an older motor. But um, as far as aftermarket, it does not have any aftermarket on it. Anyway, I got the truck mainly as a work truck. It's going to haul 
um, my boats and it's going to haul material. Um, I plan on getting a car hauler and hauling the Mustang um, if I need to take it into a shop. I 99.9% .9 of the time do my own work so that will happen a lot. But um, the oil pump gears, I'm thinking I'm going to have a shop do just because I'm a little, a little afraid I'm digging into that motor being as it's so expensive. But we'll see. But uh, no, in the comment section, decide, should I convert that truck to 4x4? It's not very hard. I can, it's just the front end on both and both new front end, transfer case, uh, drive shaft, all that. I can go get a donor truck for about 500 bucks. But anyway, should it have, should I convert to 4x4, put a small left and some meaty tires on it, or should I leave it two-wheel drive and lower it about three inches and make it into kind of a hot rod truck? Either way, it's going to probably have uh, long tubes and cams on it. Uh, not a whole lot more than that, maybe a little bit of port work done. As you can see, I got Dylan that can port and polish for me. I also have the things to do that as well, but I don't have a garage currently because I just moved. Um, but yeah, comment down below. Tell me what you think I should